Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marisa Glam. And in today's video, guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I created this makeup look right here. I just really wanted to kind of play with some makeup and I also got some new stuff and some palettes that I haven't been playing with. So that is the whole reason for today's video. Please, if you guys are interested in this type of video, then please continue watching. And like always, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so every time I upload a video, you guys are notified. And let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Let's get started. So I already kind of primed my eyelid for the, cause I'm gonna do the eyes first and then I'm gonna do the face after because I want to focus on the eyes first. I think I am going to play with the I Am Reezy palette. So let's go ahead and start with the eyes First, I'm gonna go ahead and start working with the I Am Reezy palette and I'm going to use New Yorker and OG. Those two first and then later on I'm gonna move into like 1988 which was my year. Probably work into BK but see if I could just use this ones, these ones over here and then I do want to go in with Georgina. Let me go ahead and type into OG and I'm using these new brushes and I'm so Kind of nervous because I don't know how they how they work. Let's see. They actually packed on really nicely. I'm gonna go in with New Yorker and I'm gonna grab some of that, top it off, and then, ooh, that's pigmented. And I kind of just blended New Yorker all over my lid. And I'm gonna do the same thing on my other eye. Okay, for now, we're gonna go into Georgina, which is that more shimmery shade. And I'm just gonna get like a flat brush. This is my old Morphe brush right here. And I'm gonna go in with Georgina and grab this color right here. I don't know how it looks, so let me first kind of swatch it. It's like a weird, it's like a brown copper. I don't know if that's the color I'm going for though. I'm not really looking for like a brownie coppery color. I think I'm gonna go in with this one right here. This palette is not anywhere you guys can get it from. I actually got this palette and I said this in a previous video from a girl who does lashes out here. This color right here is like the one that I'm looking for. It's like a more brown but silver in the mix. So I'm gonna grab some of that shade. I'm just gonna grab some of that from the palette, tap it off, and then wet it. And I'm just gonna pack it on the lid. And I'm gonna grab it and put it on the other lid. I'm only gonna use the shimmer from that palette. I'm gonna go in with a more buffed brush like this. I'm going to pick up 1988. Very lightly, this palette is very pigmented and I'm just gonna focus that at the end. Grab a little bit more of that 1988 color and I'm just gonna pack it right there. I'm going in with another brush just to kind of like blend it all together. And this was the first brush that I used to apply New Yorker, New Yorker. Okay, we're gonna go back into the eyes in a second, but first I want to do my brows because they just look crazy. Okay, I am gonna set my brows with my Maybelline Great Lash and it's just the clear. I'm actually loving this lately to set my brows. All right, let's do some liner. I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Break Proof Liner, and this one is in the shade Darkest Black, Ultra Black. But before we do that, I am going to clean my under eye. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. That just helps me like understand where my liner is gonna go. My eyes are so long, so when I do a wink, it looks hella weird. Okay, lashes are on. Now that that's on, 
I do want to go in a little bit darker with this eyeshadow palette so I think I am gonna try to just deepen it up with 1988 at the very end of my eye all right I'm gonna get into 1988 and I am gonna dip in just a little bit into BK which is that black color and I'm just gonna tap a lot off and I'm just going to intense that area right here at the very end and then bring it into the crease Yes, that's what I want. And I'm just gonna do it on this eye. Okay, on to the face now. Yeah, let's do the face. So I already moisturized my face before even starting all this. So what I am gonna do is prime my face with, I'm gonna go in with my primer glow oil because my face has been more on the dry side, you guys, and I've been wanting to try this out. Ooh, it's like a oil. These look like tinctures. All right, I'm gonna grab some. And I've actually seen people use this like on videos and stuff. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit on my face. Do you like those Instagrammer girls? I, want, I can never, Oi, I can never. I'm just gonna put it into my skin, prime. Anytime I put primer on my face, you guys, I get red, it's weird. Like I said, you guys, my face has been really dry. So what I'm gonna do really quick, you guys, I am gonna contour, so I'm just gonna do this. You guys are like, what the hell? You didn't even put foundation. So what I'm doing is reverse contouring. So normally people do this after they already did their foundation. I'm gonna apply some of my dose of colors. I've been liking, sometimes I do this. Most of the time I do, I just never show you guys on video. So I'm gonna do it right now to show you guys. I think I've done this once in one of my videos. I just don't know which one. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in. Okay, so we look real bronzed. That's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Wet n Wild foundation in Desert Beige. And I'm not gonna use a lot. Okay, it looks like I'm using a lot now. Let's just blend that. Let's just blend it into the skin. That primer with this foundation is very dewy. Mm hmm That's okay, because I am I'm just I need it right now. You guys don't understand all like the dry skin I've been going through. Is going with this NYX Born to Glow concealer. You guys, I don't ever show you guys this, but I use this a lot. But I'm trying to find the shade. Hold on. True beige. And I'm just gonna use it right here right there okay to give me that highlighted face I'm just gonna blend it in I got the Laura Mercier honey setting powder you guys have never even owned the first translucent powder that they had so I'm really excited to be trying this out but it, I was like I want to give it a try first and then once I try it and I use all this then I'm gonna go in with the bigger one but first let me just try it out and see I've heard some good things I've heard some bad things not really bad but like people just saying like they just rather stick with the first one the fact that it's a honey and it's made for like a little bit um, you know, darker toned skin I wanted to give it a try it's a pretty like banana ish color so I'm gonna go in with this kind of brush right here I'm gonna go in with this brush and I'm gonna grab some and I'm just gonna set it right under my eye. Ooh, that looks good. Let me try to do it with my sponge because I normally would do it with my sponge. It's a very thin, it's a very thin powder. I'm not gonna set all over my face because I do want it to be dewy. I think I want certain areas of my face to be a little bit more dewy, but you guys, this powder is bomb. Let me go ahead and grab my Ace Beauty palette, and I'm just going to chisel my cheeks, contour it up, just a little bit, not a lot. Alrighty. 
nephew's calling me. Hello. Uh, yeah. Hi, did, baby. Did you did you find it or is it hard to find? And the Maybelline fit me just to kind of chisel this area. I'm gonna grab this one again and I'm just gonna contour my nose. Okay, so I like to right here bring it up to like up there because it kind of blends in like the eyeshadow and all that together and it does it it makes it look more realistic to me let's do some blush i'm gonna go in with spiced is this spiced apple yeah and then i am gonna go back into i am Reezy palette and i'm gonna grab new yorka and og and just put that right under my eye I'm gonna go in with brown from NYX and I'm gonna use that as my eyeliner. Let me put some mascara on my lower lashes. I'm gonna line my lips. I'm gonna go in with brown. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to add my Brazilian tan lipstick from Revlon. You can leave it like this. You can't. What? I'm gonna go in with my Milani gloss. Haven't used this in so long, but this one's in Luster Light. I don't know if I'm done. I am gonna go in with my, I'm gonna go in with some highlighter, just to like highlight the nose a little bit. And then I'm going to grab a little bit with a small brush and I'm just gonna apply it right in my inner corner. So you guys don't have to do this step, but I'm going to. I'm gonna use a little bit of this banana shade from my Kat Von D palette and I am just gonna put it right under here. Kind of brighten that area up a little bit. You guys, I really miss not using a mask so you can show your lipstick off. I feel like sometimes people just don't even know what you look like. But alright guys, this is the finished look right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial that I wanted to do for you guys. I really just wanted to put makeup on and do something a little more out there. Let me know what type of Christmas looks you guys want me to do. I am working on some Christmas looks and then I am working on like some New Year's Eve looks but the christmas ones first for sure i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe hit that notification bell so every time i upload a video you guys are notified and i will see you guys on my next video very soon